Hey guys, up? It's me, Lego Leaf Three Two Nine. Going to here, and I'm bringing you another Lego Star Wars preview and my thoughts video. Back in November, October, when I uploaded my other piece of my thoughts video, that got a lot of response, lots of views, really great feedback. So I was very happy, and I waited a little bit till we got some better pictures, more like official pictures. And today, finally, we got some official pictures for the 2013 Summer Star Wars sets. So here's my preview and my thoughts video on the 2013 Lego Star Wars Summer sets coming out later this year. Our first set here is the Corporate Alliance Tank Droid, and this set has 271 pieces, I believe, and only is going to retail for $20. Now, right off the bat, that sounds like an incredible price. I'm assuming at least 80 pieces in this set will be treads, but still, that's a fantastic price. You get a clone, you get one of the new Bow Droids, but of course, the main thing people are going to want from this set is that freaking awesome Jango Fett minifigure. He looks absolutely fantastic. The droid looks pretty similar to the ones that we got, the, the set we got, uh, I believe it was like 3, 2009, so four years ago. Um, but it's still a pretty good looking set, a great value, has some really cool minifigures. The main reason people are going to get this for is Jenga Fett, but a great army builder set, and it's definitely a must-have from this line. Next up here is the Mandalorian Speeder, which I'm sure a lot of you guys, especially Clone Wars fans, will be excited for because of that Darth Maul minifigure. Now, I was not a big fan of the return of Darth Maul in the Clone Wars. I thought it was just unnecessary and strange. The minifigure does look kind of cool. The face is really ugly, but it does have freaking awesome robotic legs. And those Mandalorian minifigures really look sick. And the speeder itself is not half bad. It's a pretty cool little vehicle. This set will retail for about $25 US dollars. It contains 211 pieces. So it's not a fantastic value, but it's still not really too expensive. It's definitely a good one to get because it's relatively cheap and you get some really cool exclusive minifigures. I do like the speeder though. It's a pretty cool looking set. Not a big fan of Darth Maul, but those robotic legs definitely look like a must-have piece to get. Our third set here is the Homing Spider Droid. This set will retail for about 30 US dollars and it contains 295 pieces. So another fantastic veal from this line. This this line is filled with lots of great deals for sets. You get two Super Battle Droids, a Clone Trooper, and a brand new Jedi minifigure, which is really cool. Then you get two droids, the small spider droid and the giant spider droid, which is really, really cool. It looks like a really cool design. I love the use of those Prince of Persia dome pieces to make its, you know, ball thing in the middle. I really think that's a fantastic build for this set. It actually looks really cool. Big improvement over the last spider droid that we got about five years ago. It's a really cool set. It's definitely a must have for that fantastic price. Our next set here is the Duel on Geonosis, which looks like a fantastic set, one of the ones I'm most excited for from this line. I was not a big fan of this part in the movie, I thought Yoda doing all those backflips and stuff, which is too cartoony and strange, but this set does look pretty freaking awesome. It's a really cool structure, it got some really cool stuff, the speeder bike looks pretty cool, and the Count Dooku minifigure is awesome. Same thing with the Yoda minifigure and the little droid, and the Geonosian guy looks fantastic. Everything about this set this looks really cool. It has 391 pieces and will retail for 40 US dollars. So again, right around 10 cents a piece. So another fantastic value. No reason not to get this set. It just looks like a really cool display scene. We don't get too many Star Wars play sets. So definitely a must-have set and I absolutely love it. Next up here is the oddest and probably worst set from the line. This is the Jack 14 Stealth Starfighter. Now this vehicle does look kind of cool. It's a pretty cool looking vehicle. It reminds me a lot of an E-Wing. It's just a stupid set. First off, what is it? It's from the Yoda Chronicles, which is something Lego made up. It's not really a real Star Wars vehicle, so there's no, like, connection to it at all. You know, even if something's, like, from the Old Republic or from a random video game or random Clone Wars episode that no one cared about, at least there's something you can go back to it. But this is from something Lego made up. The minifigures do look kind of cool. One of them has a translucent arm, which is really, really unique and really cool. But besides that, there's just no reason to get this set because it has 550 pieces for what? 50? No. 60? No. 70 dollars. It's an awful value. This is the third year in a row LEGO is releasing a LEGO Star Wars set that has less than 600 pieces for 70 dollars, which is a bad, bad thing for them to keep on doing. Not a great set. Really bad value. I'm probably not going to pick this up unless it's on sale. Our next set is a remake of the ATTE Walker, and this set has just a little bit under 800 pieces and retail for about $90. That's not a fantastic value, but it looks like a pretty big vehicle, and it's got some fantastic minifigures. You get two battle droids, two brand new Jedi, and a clone commander, which is really, really awesome. 
Unfortunately, there's no clones. You get one, like, clone commander. Where, where are the normal clones? Couldn't have, like, included, like, two normal clone troopers. That would have been awesome. But besides that, the actual vehicle looks really, really well designed. Very similar to the older ones, but it's still a great remake, you know. It's been five years now since we got that last one, so it's a great time to reintroduce one. This one, it's been a while, like, at least ten years since we got the actual one from the movie. So it's really great to see a remake of this. I'm definitely going to try and pick this up if I have the money. Here is the new Jabba Sail Barge set, and this set looks really cool. It doesn't look as good as the old one, which is kind of weird. I mean, the back looks fine. The front is a little bit too blocky and slopey to me, which is weird. I know some people complain about the old one being too not brick built, so I guess they did it with this one, but it doesn't look as good. But this thing cost $120. What the heck, Lego? Why? Why? It's not that big. It doesn't look any bigger than the old one. The minifigures are great. I mean, there's some really fantastic minifigures, and you get Max Rebo, who might be one of the best minifigures ever made. But just why does it cost that much? I see no reason that this set should cost that much money. I really want to pick it up. It's not as bad a value as Jabba's Palace, so I really want to pick it up. But for that much money, there's so much other stuff that you can get a lot more with for the same amount or less money. So I really just don't see why I would pick this set up with my own money. If I get it, it'll probably be either on clearance or when I have a coupon or something or when I get it as a gift. So really cool set. Here is definitely the best and biggest set from the line. This is the Republic Gun Ship and a much needed remake. It's been a while since we got a version of this from the movie. This looks so much better than the other ones. First off, I love the bubble cockpits. I love the little, you know, bubbles that come out from the side doors. Those are really cool. That's something we missed from the old one, and the minifigures look great. You get a brand new Padme, brand new Anakin, and brand new Obi Wan. You get two clones. Unfortunately, has that same thing. The problem with the ATT has it has a lack of clones. We do still get some more battle droids, so it's a good army building set. It's a fantastic looking vehicle, and the price. It's $120, which is very expensive, but it has 1,175 pieces, so it's right around 10 cents a piece. So just an incredible value. I would never get this. Or I'd never get Jabba Sail Barge over this set because this set has like 400 more pieces or 300 more pieces and way coolerness and it's just a fantastic looking set and I think this line is really fantastic. He has some really great values besides a couple sets. All the sets look like they're really pretty cool and some fantastic minifigures. I am super excited. There are some exclusive sets that aren't on here so if you you know, if those sets are revealed in like a few weeks, don't be complaining about them not being on here because they weren't revealed at the time of this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Go check my Facebook page for more pictures on this kind of stuff. Go like me on Instagram and find me on Twitter. Follow me there, and please rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.